It may seem like a standard helmet, but this is the future of flying at night. So this enables the pilot to have improved what we call night vision acuity. So for close air support, for ground attack, for any, any role like that, he can now see perfectly. Striker 2 is the newest fighter pilot helmet from BAE Systems, and it eliminates the need for night vision goggles. Currently, air missions after dark require pilots to wear them over their helmet, but they take time to adjust and can weigh up to a pound. That might not seem like much, but when accelerating at 9 Gs, a little weight can make a big difference. Pull back. On top. Night vision goggles uh, have a significant mass. They're fitted in front of the helmet, which has a cantilever effect. It, it um, changes the center of gravity of the helmet to such an extent that a, a 9G aircraft, for example, at night would be limited to 5G. Good job. Helmets have come a long way since the first ones in the early 1900s. Initial models were made of leather to protect pilots from the wind and cold. Later, wireless radio and oxygen masks were added letting pilots reach higher altitudes. Now, today's high-tech models, like BAE's Striker 1, overlays digital information onto the real world by projecting it onto the visor inside the helmet. And Striker 2 takes it to the next level. By using a digital camera to eliminate the need for night vision goggles, pilots can execute missions with more comfort and ease. So at the start of a mission, he doesn't need to decide whether it's a day or night mission. He doesn't need to decide what configuration of helmet. He just flies with this helmet and he can transition to night mode instantaneously. Striker 2 won't be on the market for 18 months, but BAE thinks that it will sell similarly to its predecessor. Right now, about 600 Striker 1 helmets are used in the US, UK, and other air forces. Colston wouldn't disclose the price for either helmet, but said that the Striker 2 will cost about 20% less. Unless you're a fighter pilot, it's safe to say you won't be in the market for one of these anytime soon. But military technology has a history of ending up in consumer hands, like the Buccaneer head-up display. In 1958, BAE developed the technology so pilots could see data without having to look down. And today, it's used in cars to project information onto the dashboard. And while he doesn't know for sure, Colston says he could imagine this next generation night vision one day being applied to smart glasses. But for now, its most immediate benefit is security. I think it's very important for the defense of our nations that our pilots um, can have um, optimum performance day and night. Certainly the US, the UK, one of the key um, benefits we had was the, 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 the phrase we own the night. I prefer the night because we own it. Night performance um, was, was key. Um, this takes that to another level. A level where the real and digital worlds combine, allowing us to see more seamlessly between the two.